welcome to this tutorial on how to paint a pussy willow or a salix with gouache. Now I went out into my garden this morning and I was lucky to have some pussy willow and for those who don't know what they look like this is what they look like. Okay so if you've got some or if you can go and get some just cut off a little sprig you don't take a lot just because they're so important to our wildlife um, go and get yourself some so you can see the real thing and maybe do a little drawing practice drawing before you start painting I'm going to draw mine out so you can see how to do it I'm going to draw it onto a piece of watercolour paper if you're at all up, um, worried about how to draw it then draw it onto a piece of cartridge paper and then transfer it onto your watercolour paper, your finished drawing that is. I'm just going to show you now how to draw a Salix Pussy Willow. Okay, so I'm going to draw mine portrait. This is portrait, this is landscape. So I'm drawing directly onto my watercolour paper here. Like I said, if you're not confident then draw onto a piece of cartridge first and then you can trace it through onto your watercolour paper. There is a plane just flying across at the moment so if there's a, a noise then that's what it is. We have all sorts. I've had lawn mowers and all sorts of things this morning because the weather's so good if a little windy okay so i'm just drawing very basic oval shapes and keeping hold of the little casing that surrounds the pussy willow now if you've got a pussy willow with lots of the opening flowers coming out then you can reduce the amount of pussy willow you, you know you can just paint one if you want to okay so you don't have to paint all of the little balls that are going up this stem and you can even move some. So if they're not quite sitting in the right place, then move them around. And basically that's all we need for our painting. Okay, so you can either copy this or draw from life yourself or draw from an image online. Okay, so we're gonna do this in stages. Just for those who don't know what gouache is, gouache is the in-between paint between watercolor and acrylic it's water based so it always even if it dries out it um, you can re-wet it but it's opaque watercolour basically um, so you can't see through it so unlike watercolour which is transparent you can't see through it so I've got a blob of white here and I'm just taking a nice thickish mix it's like cream like single cream and a round brush and I'm just going to coat the little pussy willows with a coat of white paint so this is the furry part of the twig that we're painting here okay the the most beautiful part of the pussy willow in my opinion is the furry part i used to pick these when i was a child and I'd put them in my pocket and sort of stroke them And they were like really calming little furry beautiful beautiful things just like little binny teddy bears in your pocket so nice okay so once you've got your white on the next thing to do is to just take some brown and i've got some brown in a pot here i'm just going to move a little bit of brown over onto my palette because we don't need much Oops, just going to add water to it 
and we're just going to paint the stem okay gouache is about sort of two to three pounds a tube and you can get them from any art shop you can get them in the range and you can get them online sometimes even in uh, places like wh smith they will stock gouache these days because so many people have taken up painting <sighs> recently that the materials the access to materials has really um improved so i'm not worried too much about the paint bleeding into the pussy willow pom-poms so i'm just putting a layer down of this brown and you can extend the stem the the twig up if you want to go go further with it just paint that stem in and then once that's done you can paint the little cups the seed um, cases as well I'm just going to add a little bit more paint into that and then I'm going to dry it off Okay, so there we have our dried off, our painted in and blocked in and dried off Pussy Willow stem. So now we just need to add detail. So I'm going to do one and then I will put it on time lapse again and you can watch it being filled in. On my palette I've got white, I've got blue, a dark blue, purple, a bit of black, the red and the brown that I just used previously. And I'm going to mix various tones um, to do the fluffy part of the Pussy Willow. Okay, and there'll be tones of grey in the main. So just take a dot, add to your mix. And then you're just going to take, this is a fine brush with a very fine point on it. Can you see a detail brush? Well, maybe you can't see that. There we go. All right. Let's see if it'll focus. It might not do. Anyway, you can see how fine a point that is. Hopefully you've got something similar to that and that you can follow what I'm doing. So I'm just going to move my colours over so I can rest my hand because it's important that you rest your hand on your surface so that when you're flicking that you get a sort of furry mark like this. Can you see? And go different directions. So I'm going this way diagonally. And then I'm also going to go that way and I'm pressing and then flicking up, pressing, flick, pressing, flick, pressing, flick. And that's how you get your furry um, texture. Add a little bit more grey or black and look carefully at your pussy willow and just put the darker tones where the darker tones are. You know, it's not just all white. And it's not just all grey either. Sometimes you've got a little bit of blue. So I've just added, you can see just here, a little touch of blue. And that will enhance the shadow part. So what we're doing is we're just putting down the odd fleck here and there and leaving the white behind. So you're not covering it up completely. Um, if you do lose it, you can always put it back in afterwards. Once it's dried off, you can take some more white and just pop it back in. Okay. So don't be frightened. Um, we can work on the detail um, on the cups, the seed um, cups um, afterwards as well. And you can just put in shadows using darker tones of brown. Just add a bit of black into the brown and you'll see me doing that as well. OK, so it's just flick marks, fine brush, different shades of greys and blues and purples for your white part of your pussy willow and then different shades of brown to enhance the the um the stick or the twig and the little seed the flower cups that they come out of okay so i'm going to again put this on time lapse so you can watch me do it if you haven't got a fine brush then you can find an old brush and just trim it down using a pair of scissors um, you can go and buy a detail brush. 
If you haven't got gouache, you can use watercolour and just work light to dark with your watercolour. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so that's more or less finished. Like I said, I used a palette of white, blue, purple, black, and brown. And I've mixed various tones of gray, blue, gray, purple, gray. Just have a play with colors and test them out on a sheet of paper before you put them on here. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit closer so that we can see how those individual pussy willows are painted. So you find them in moist soil, mainly in the Northern Hemisphere, but they're really important for larvae and aphids and wasps and butterflies. And obviously they, they get used for all sorts of other things as well. So you can make charcoal out of willow. As artists, we all know that. Um, baskets, cricket bats, things like that, but they're also used um, to create, they're a precursor of aspirin and they were, uh, they were used for anti-inflammatory um, problems. So loads of different reasons to promote these and plant them in your garden and maybe just pick a posse willow and plant it and see what happens. I'm going to finish this by just putting a light colour on the background just because I want the pussy willows to, the, the, the flowers that are going to come, I'm, I want them to stand out a little bit more. Because they're on white, they're not standing out enough. You don't have to do that, you might be happy with the result. Um, but I'm going to do that and I'm going to put it on time lapse. I hope you enjoy. Like I said, if you don't have gouache, then just use watercolour or even acrylic, but work light to dark um, with both of those mediums. Okay, enjoy and see you next time. Bye for now.